Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Monday, May 30th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. And join us every Sunday at 1030 for worship. My scripture today is Psalm 82, verse 3. Defend the defenseless, the fatherless, and the forgotten, the disenfranchised, and the destitute. This is the word of the Lord. What an appropriate scripture for Memorial Day. This is the day in the United States when we remember all those who gave their lives in service to our country. We thank those families which supported them and loved them, and we honor all who stood up when called and helped to guarantee that we would have the freedoms that we enjoy today. But let's put the memory back in Memorial Day. What do I mean? Well, let's remember how they died. Not every single one of them, but let's remember the kinds of circumstances that led to their passing. In a revolutionary war up against a far superior military power, they fought in the meanest of circumstances, in the cold, with very little to supply them, but they believed in the freedom they sought. In the world wars, we were seeking to end war and then to end the terrible reign of a despot that threatened to take over all of Europe. Our civil war was a struggle to define who we are as a nation. Vietnam was an attempt to shield the world from the spread of communism. And in each of these circumstances, those who were actually on the ground usually didn't have much say in the decision making. And there were times when policies may not be what today we imagine they should have been. But they believed in something far greater. They believed in the United States of America. And I believe that God has blessed us richly and given us a call and a challenge to remember how they passed and why they passed. They passed that you and I might have religious freedom. Their passing gave us the opportunity to have a democracy, to have the freedoms that we enjoy under the First Amendment. They fought that we might not ever fear the kinds of chaos and oppression that plague many nations. Let's put the memory back into Memorial Day and let's move forward honoring the values that they fought and died to preserve. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to remember. We don't exactly celebrate Memorial Day, but we remember and we hold on to the values and ideals that Memorial Day represents. We pray that we would move past war as an instrument of policy. We pray that we would strive after peace, thirst for it even more deeply. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.